Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I have five wow factor fragrances. These fragrances are perfect for summer, every one of them. They're just amazing, but they are, for whatever reasons, what I would consider to be a masterpiece. So they are exponentially more interesting and beautiful than any other fragrance that I have in my collection. And they just have that wow factor for whatever reason. So I can't wait to share them with you. I just think that they're spectacular fragrances and more people need to hear about them. So before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird, wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And let's get into this. The first fragrance is one that I just have a sample of, but I seriously want a full bottle as soon as possible because it is one of the most gorgeous fragrances that I think I've ever smelled. Like I would say that this somehow is the best fragrance that I've I know of. For whatever reason, it's just spectacular and it is delirious by Premier Perfumes. This fragrance, first of all, I love the color of the juice. I just think it's amazing. It's literally stunning. It's a gorgeous fragrance. It's classy, it's sophisticated, but what makes this so special is that um, somehow it smells like petrichor but with some added kind of a little bit of fruitiness in there. And I think it was Val that when she smelt it, she said, this smells like petrichor to me. And it it has that feeling. Now, if you've ever been out in the rain, um, you know, it's just rained, you go outside and you smell the freshness of the earth, that is a petrichor smell. And I just, that it's the most relaxing, rejuvenating smell. Like who doesn't love going out after a rain and just smelling the smells? It's like the whole earth comes alive. And this fragrance kind of gives me that feel. So I find it extremely relaxing, refreshing, but so, so beautiful and sophisticated at the same time. Another thing that's cool about Renier perfumes in general is that the founder is an artist. And so he likes to pair his fragrances with paintings, which I think is really cool. So um, yeah, kind of a neat concept. I'm gonna read you the notes in this one because there's so many that I, I think they're, but there's so many and they're kind of different, I think. So I wanna read them to you. Green leaves, hon honeysuckle, magnolia, grapefruit. In the mid, you have guava, white ginger, lily, soursop, geosmin, ginger, white pepper, and cardamom, and the base has mahogany, white musk, amber, guyac wood, cedar, and Haitian vetiver. So when I first spray it, there's a, a slight kind of almost, it, it's sweet, but a little bit tart feel. I don't really smell specific fruits or florals, so it's not like I smell any specific note. It just smells blended together to give this beautiful kind of uh, ethereal fragrance. It's it's literally stunning. Now this fragrance is considered a floral woody musk. That makes sense to me, but like I said, I'm not getting any specific floral or any massive woods. It's just all blended together to smell like an ethereal garden after the rain. That's what it reminds me of. I think it's so beautiful. Decent longevity on it. It is the perfect fragrance as a signature fragrance, as a bridal fragrance. If you wanna smell ethereal, sophisticated, uh, bougie, but not overdone, really elegant, this is the fragrance to go for. This is seriously a wow factor. Like I, I I can't stop thinking about it. I need to have it. It's quite pricey, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth getting a sample. I will leave the links. The links are always in there for all the fragrances, but for this one, Parfum Exquise for North America has it. And then I'll also link Renier Perfumes straight to the, their website for anyone that's in Europe. But seriously, it is such a spectacular fragrance. I I am wowed by it. Another fragrance that's absolutely spectacular from Renier Perfumes that 
could fit into the wow factor category as well. And I want to mention it because I'm just so impressed with it. It's a mango fragrance. So it has mango, papaya, pineapple, tangerine, cypress, and plum in the opening. And it is called Oud Rain. It has Oud Saffron, Nutmeg, and Sandalwood in the middle. And then Oud Animal Notes, Cedar, and Labdanum in the base. So both of these fragrances are technically unisex. I find Delirious to be more feminine leaning, although really it is unisex. Oud Rain, it's uh, definitely unisex uh, across the board, but it's a beautiful, sophisticated mango. There's no sort of childlike flirtiness to this. This is a grown-up uh, mango fragrance that is just stellar. So uh, I highly recommend both of them, but in the wow factor for, uh, category for me right now is Delirious. That one is spectacular. Uh, Oud Rain is another, I haven't spent as much time with Oud Rain, but seriously, this is a house to check out. They are stunning fragrances. So that is my first wow factor duo. <laughs> the next one, now this one gets mixed reviews, but seriously, for summer fragrance, this has captured my heart. I just absolutely adore it, and it is Wave Child by Room 1015. So this is just an absolutely mouth-watering watermelon fragrance. Now, what sets this apart is that, again, it doesn't smell childish or flirty. It somehow smells grown up and sophisticated, even though it's really fun. A summer celebration party fragrance. It's a bit ozonic. You definitely get the watermelon, but there's also like lemon, orange, there's coconut in here, ambergris, a little cacao. It's sensual, it's bright, it's fun. And to me, it smells like, you know, uh, <laughs> I always wished I was some other girl, but like, I just love the ideas of all these different people. So, you know, a girl or a guy, uh, and their hair is kind of, um, ocean sprayed, you know, that ocean hair look where they've been out and surfing and they come back in and they've got their surfboard under their arm and they've got their wetsuit on, but it's not a full wetsuit. It's the half wetsuit. So it looks really cool. And their hair is kind of, uh, wind sprayed. It's, it's half dry, half wet. They've just got that gorgeous kind of sun kissed tan all over. That's what this kind of gives me the vibe of like, someone like that and then they come in and they spend some time and then it gets a little bit dark they have a fire going and there's someone playing a guitar and they're just kind of hanging out on the beach and they've got some fruit and they've got you know what was that drink that you could make I can't remember because I don't think I ever tried it even but I need to live a little <laughs> anyway it, it was like um you put all the fruit, like the watermelon and all the fruit into the watermelon, and then you fill it up with vodka or something like that, and you shake it around or something. I don't know. But then you eat the fruit, and the fruit's like loaded with liquor. This doesn't smell like liquor, but you know that kind of a party where everyone's just kind of having fun. Some people are dancing. Someone's playing the guitar. It's all really casual. That's what this feels like. So it's super relaxing. It's refreshing. It's somehow invigorating, even though it's relaxing. You know, that kind of fragrance that it just smells, it just smells amazing. Like it smells like a vacation, but not like a sunscreeny coconut vacation, even though there's coconut in this. I just love it. I just think it's a great fragrance. Uh, the longevity, again, is moderate. Just a fantastic stellar release perfect for summer and I can see this one definitely being mass appealing. It's completely different from Delirious where that one's like really sophisticated and elegant. This one's slightly wild and just a party in the bottle. Uh, so completely different vibe but both total wows. The next fragrance that I think is a, an absolute wow factor fragrance is Sunshine by Amouage. Now first of all this bottle. I just think it's so beautiful. Like it's the most gorgeous bottle I think I have. It looks like kind of a piece of art. So I love, love, love the bottle. But the fragrance inside, now there's another one from uh, Amouage that I'm in love with called Overture. That is such a stellar, gorgeous fragrance. Like it's literally stunning. 
Uh, so I'm absolutely in love with that one, but that one's to me is more of a winter fragrance and I'm, I'm talking about wows for summer. First of all, this is really long lasting. It smells so sophisticated and elegant. It smells really rich and luxe, but it's different. It's, it's di more different than like all of these are unique in their own way, but this, I haven't smelled anything like this one. And I don't think that this one is mass appealing. So I don't think it's for everyone, but it smells to me like warm, warm sun-kissed air. And you're not at the beach where you've got wind and salt or anything like that. It'd be more like you're on this beautiful crystal clear lake and there's this beautiful kind of wood uh, dock that you go out onto and you can smell kind of the wood uh, coming up and it smells kind of sweet, a little bit earthy. Um, and you're sitting there just soaking in the sun and it's a little bit muggy outside. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. So this has almond, black currant, and artemisia in the opening. The middle notes are osmanthus, vanilla, magnolia, and jasmine. And the base is white tobacco, papyrus, juniper, and patchouli. Somehow this totally has a humid feel. So I think of the dock or thinking about walking in the woods and it's super hot and humid. It's not quite as balsamic as that, but kind of. So you get all of that resinous kind of wood, but it's just on the air mixed with a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of floral. I just think that this is spectacular and it's definitely, whoa. It's definitely unique. So I love this fragrance. I love the fact that it lasts a long time on the skin. First of all, you're gonna get just a hint of black currant and a little bit of that osmanthus and then the almond and the vanilla definitely comes out uh, in the deeper dry down. The white tobacco to me, it doesn't smell like tobacco. It smells more floral, but I just think that this is a stellar fragrance. So gorgeous, so unique. This could definitely be a signature fragrance. And the cool thing about this one is it holds its own in the winter as well. So even though it gives you that kind of relaxed kind of humid feel uh, with sweet sunshine, if that is a thing. Um, this fragrance definitely works in the winter as well. I think this may get a little bit heavy in the major, major heat. If you've tried this in the heat, let me know what you think, but this would work really, really well as kind of an evening sensual fragrance. Love it! I have two more wow factor fragrances for you. The first one is Love at First Sight by Unui Nomad. Now this is the most amazing lilac fragrance I have ever smelled. So I've smelled a few lilac fragrances and I found them too powdery, too cloying, too mature. They felt kind of vintage, weren't my vibe. This, like I took a gamble on this, it's absolutely stunning. And to me, this one falls in the same category as the Renier one, where it, I don't know if it's Renier or Renier, but anyway, um, this has somehow that beautiful garden smell, a little bit petrichor -y. It doesn't smell like petrichor, but you get this gorgeous kind of green on the air along with the lilac. There is passion fruit, acacia, and ambroxan. So what it gives me is this beautiful lilac fragrance. It's kind of on the air along with some green, like whispers of green. So it'd be as if you were outside and the wind was kind of blowing, just a gentle breeze, and you, the lilacs have just blossomed and you're getting this beautiful whiff of lilac, and then you're eating some sort of passion fruit sorbet or something like that. So you get this hint of passion fruit. It's mouthwatering, kind of gives you a little bit of a in the in the cheeks. But then paired with that lilac, it's beautiful. And what it reminds me of is, you know, when you have a, a, a dessert or something like that, where you have all the sweet, but then you put a little bit of salt on it, um, or you balance out sweet and sour. Any kind of a food like that, where you're getting sweet and sour or hot and salty or whatever it is, sweet and salty, sweet and spicy. Uh, when you get kind of little bit opposites, they really round out a flavor and make it 
uh, just make it that much better, that much more enjoyable. I feel like this fragrance does it. So you get this majorly sweet purple floral and purple florals to me are always a little bit tricky, potentially challenging. So this is that sweet kind of heady purple floral paired with kind of a tart, sweet passion fruit. And so it just rounds out the fragrance profile so beautifully. It's just gorgeous. This would make a beautiful wedding fragrance. It would make a beautiful signature uh, scent fragrance. It's sophisticated again, very elegant and absolutely beautiful. It's slightly relaxed. It, it's just stunning. So to me, a fragrance like this, like you cannot, like it's unique. It's nothing I've smelt before. And that's why I love all of these. They're all to me very, very unique and uh, fit a spot in my fragrance collection that nothing else does. So I absolutely love this fragrance. I, it smells slightly prim, but at the same time calm. So, you know, if you imagine a woman, she's dressed very, very demurely, maybe has a blouse that's buttoned all the way up and uh, a, like a pleated skirt, let's say. She's got pumps on. She's very, very classy. She's very soft-spoken, but somehow you just feel so relaxed around her. That is love at first sniff. Ah, love at first sniff. It was love at first sniff. Love at first sight. Love, love, love. Total wow. Last but not least, I have My Greek Lover by Untamed Perfumes. Now, I have definitely put a decent dent in this one. Oh, it is so gorgeous. Now, this has orange blossom in it. Now, I feel like the orange blossom is the nucleus of this fragrance, um, but the orange blossom is not sharp at all. It's not too heady. It just creates this beautiful kind of base of warm sunshine again. I, oh, I just love it. Now, I'm going to read these notes to you. Uh, that's one thing I've noticed about all these fragrances besides love at first sniff. They're all quite complex and maybe that's part of the wow factor for me. So the top notes in My Greek Lover are lemon, bitter orange, green grape, spices, and herbal notes. The middle notes are orange blossom, quince, jasmine, and fig. And the base is honey, cypress, cedar, pine, musk, mastic, and civet. This fragrance was kind of an ode to Greece. Uh, Sunyata from Montaigne Perfumes absolutely loves Greece. It's just her favorite place to be. So this is kind of uh, paying homage to Greece. And I totally get that. You've got the lemon, you've got the grapes, which is kind of representing the vineyards. You've got the mastic and the mastic is very, very under the rest of the fragrance. And mastic is a little bit kind of a resinous, balsamic kind of feel. You can actually eat it. I've tasted it. It actually tastes really good but it's uh, very resiny uh, in a way, so kind of a bit balsam. And the base in this, of course, has the cypress, the cedar, the mastic, and they all work together, but they're not overpowering at all. What you get is this bright kind of juicy mouth-watering, but slightly airy, fruity feel in the opening, that orange blossom kind of bringing everything together just beautifully. And then as this dries down, you get a little bit more of the resins, but it never feels too thick. It feels airy again. So all of these fragrances, what I'm noticing is they smell somehow like the air. So this one, same thing. It smells as if you were, I just imagine being on a cliff somewhere in Greece or the top of a hill. You've got a cypress tree. There's lemon trees in an orchard somewhere. You can see grapes in a vineyard. It's really, really hot a little bit humid. There's the breeze from the ocean coming and you're just getting all the smells. That's what this feels like. So it's so relaxed yet sophisticated and elegant. Just an absolute gorgeous fragrance, especially if you're an orange blossom fan. This to me is a must have in the collection. Like seriously, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. So I love the grapes, I love the fig, I love the lemon, I love it all. I just think it's beautiful. This is another fragrance that certainly could be worn as a signature fragrance. It could be worn all year round, but especially in this type, this time of year, I just think it shines. 
And even though this has some floral with the orange blossom and the jasmine, it doesn't get too much in the heat. So this just kind of comes alive in the heat. So for those of you that are in warmer climates, this is seriously a stellar, stellar fragrance. The longevity is amazing on this. It's an extra de parfum. So the longevity is just fabulous. So I love this fragrance so, so much. And that is it. These are my wow factors for summer. Seriously, every one of them is unique. I have not smelled anything like any of these. They all fit certain occasions in different vibes that I'm wanting to create. And honestly, if you just wanted five stellar fragrances for summer and nothing else, these would be absolutely amazing. So what about you? What are your wow factor fragrances for summer? Leave them in the comments. I would love to know. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon. big purple floral. Holy mackerel. I got the itchiest nose. Like, I can't even believe. Oh, I don't know why, but my nose is itching so bad. I can't even stand it. Oh!